I'm gonna cut here, here, and then down. Alright, here goes nothing. And I just poke myself. Snip, snip, snip. I'm gonna get this out of the way before I make a mistake again. I can like get kind of like an idea if I'm going in the right track or um, if I need to modify or redo something it would be a lot easier um, I tend to do it with a different color thread that way I can see when I start stitching uh, with my sewing machine I can see like where exactly I'm supposed to um, stitch stuff pin it to my top and then start doing a rough stitch again just like what I did the other day um, I do rough stitches before I um, start sewing it with a machine just so that I can like get kind of like an idea if I'm going in the right track or um, if I need to modify or redo something it would be a lot easier um, I tend to do it with a different color thread that way I can see when I start stitching uh, with my sewing machine I can see like where exactly I'm supposed to um, stitch stuff so, okay, I'm just unfolding this so what I'm going to do for now I'm going to copy how much space I had for the other one for the other side here that way I'm on the same page as far as as far as doing like the, the pleats and the stitching and, and whatnot. Now I'm pretty much just estimating about uh, an inch away from the thing. And pretty much just doing it just so that it won't fray later. I feel like I need to make it smaller, but at the same time, it looks just like what I need to 
go and do for a thing there. Um, it's really hard for me because I don't actually have a pattern for this. I'm just eyeballing everything. So let's see if it works. All right, so I'm going to grab my top and then try to connect everything with pins first. And then after that, then I'll start um, doing my rough stitching. So I'm thinking about... Just to line everything up. See these inner triangles? I'm going to line that up there. Okay. And then this other side here. Then I'm going to push it to the top. And find okay. and a couple more. Alright, and the rest down below, that's the easy part because the, uh, it's all just straight cut and I, it's easier to like so. Um, this top part's going to be a little bit tricky because see how I need to go by the shape of um, whatever this is up front. So I need to make sure I'm actually aligned to it. Scissors here. Now for this one, I'm going to try to use a different color thread to see where it's that silver. I'm going to be careful this time because I screwed up the last time. I accidentally cut the front um, with the shape of the, the circle in the back. So I'm going to try to be really extra careful this time. And this front here, it seems like you can see a little bit of it. Let me see. I feel like I can get a better feel of it here. Just to know where it's at. And what I'm going to do is, cool thing is this is already folded from the pillowcase. I'm going to cut over here. Just need to be really careful. I'm gonna do a running stitch to like reinforce that in there. I'm pretty much folding it along what I had before, but um, see.
can't forget that one too. This is the hard part of it. And then everything else, everything else should just follow. Um, and then once I bust out the sewing machine, everything will be a lot faster. Because I've already, um, I, I like doing this better than using pins or push pins just because, um, for me, I think it's a lot more stable, plus it kind of helps guide me while I'm using a sewing machine. Um, I'm pretty um, even and consistent with where I place my stitches. That's why it's a lot easier for me to like do this as opposed to doing pins and risk being um, pricked by the needle or the, the pins like um, every time. So just going to do this around the collar area here. And I'm glad because it's actually covering up my mistake from last week. So All right, I'm just going to keep stitching here. Bye bye mistake, and I don't have to deal with that. I should not. I should have just, should have just panicked and and stitched that over, because I was gonna put this over it anyway. I completely forgot about that. So let me fold this real quick, because I'm stitching it so fast that I'm. I feel like I'm gonna miss that section. If I'm not careful. need to find that back of that. I can get rid of this for now. Yeah. Okay, in a few minutes here, I'm going to go check on the um, the mutton on ale that I was working on earlier. And I already made a mistake with a stitch. So here's the fun part about this. I'll just snip the end, grab that stitch, and pull it out. Problem solved. And then I'll just put both threads over... Through the needle hole, that way I can continue stitching. About five minutes, okay? Bill's really hungry, so he can't wait to taste that mutton on ale broth. Let me see. Trying to grab the thing at the bottom and it's just slipping because it's silk. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm having a really hard time with that. I'm just going to. 